Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today is day uh, 12. I think it's day 12. Oh my gosh. We're getting so close to Christmas. Today is day 12 of our 31 days of holiday. So I have an Ulta and Sephora haul to share with you guys. I'm wearing my elf shirt, son of a nutcracker. If you guys have never seen the elf movie, I highly recommend it. It is quite funny. So let's go ahead and start with this haul here. Um, let's see. I was making sure I had time to do this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You have to always check time because it feels like this time of the holiday season, things get so busy. You're like, okay, what else do I need to get done? So let's just get the show on the road here. So firstly, I'll show you this, some things I got at uh, Sephora. So one thing I picked up is actually on recommendation of, oh my gosh, hang on. I watched her video and she was talking about all kinds of perfumes and different things like that and she recommended this perfume because she said it smells a lot like Baccarat Rouge and I was like okay look I want to know what Baccarat Rouge smells like because it is on my wish list for the holiday season and her name is I'm trying to find her video I know I'm subscribed to her and she posts pretty regularly Lauren May Beauty Lauren May Beauty had recommended this perfume because she said it smelled a lot like the Baccarat Rouge and like I said I want to try that so this is the Fluid uh, Intention. It's a gender-free perfume. This is 1.7 ounces. I thought I would try it out. It smells amazing, so it makes me even more excited to have the Baccarat Rouge on my wish list. I do believe she said the Baccarat Rouge is a little bit more potent. This is a little bit more subtle, so if you want a more subtle scent of the Baccarat Rouge, this is the way to go, and it's definitely a lot less expensive. So let's see. I know you're not supposed to do that, crush the notes, but oh my gosh. Oh, this smells phenomenal. So if this is what Baccarat Rouge smells like, I'm going to be so happy if I get that for Christmas. That is, like I said, on my wish list. Let's hope Santa remembers to bring that with him in his sleigh. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. I don't know what the notes are. Let me see what the notes are in this. I'm sure she's compared the notes because if she said it smells a lot like it, then she definitely knows. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Fluid. P-H-L-U-I-D. <laughs> Fluid. All right. So this is Intention. Intention is the purple bottle. It does have 16 reviews with all five. It's got five stars. So that's pretty good. Um, it is a warm and sweet gourmand. It's got sweet mandarin, jasmine dew, and warm amber are the notes. So... It smells heavenly. Let's be honest. It smells really, really good. The next thing I picked up at Sephora is this right here. This is the Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Palette. I do believe that when I purchased this, it was not on sale, but I think it was. It may be on sale now. I'm not sure. But So if you're looking into getting this palette, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the Second Slice. Actually, no. You know what? I think I did get this on sale. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I... Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. So here's what the colors look like in here. So they do look really beautiful. I do like Too Faced palettes. This one is cardboard. It's not like the typical ones where they were like the metal ones. I don't mind that. It doesn't bother me. I do think these colors are very beautiful. I love the purples. I love the oranges. It just looks like a very beautiful fall palette. So if you like the fall colors, I think this looks like a really good palette. And if you can get it on sale, that's an even better deal. The next thing I got is like a repurchase because I absolutely love this product so much. I use it every day. I was using it every morning and every night and I completely ran out. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I love this product. If you don't like the smell of roses though, you are not going to like it because it definitely smells like roses. It is, it is a product that looks like it's not combined because you need to give it a good shake to combine the two products. So it's the oil and the, the rose water. So you combine the two and then you just take and put a little bit of this onto your hands after you've cleansed your skin and you're ready for your first step in your skincare. And this stuff works so well. My skin is very, very thankful for this because my skin is very dry. Whenever I use this, I can tell a big difference. My skin is not as dry. I feel like it's helping with brightening my skin up a little bit too. I don't know if rose oil does that or not, but I feel like it is. I feel like that's what it's helping with. So I really love that. And if you are looking for something that's very hydrating and something that's going to help throughout these winter months that are coming up, I would definitely recommend that. The next thing I picked up is a, another palette. So this is the Urban Decay 
This is the Naked Ninnies. Ninnies. <laughs> Naked, oh my gosh. Naked Minis. I was trying to say Naked Minis. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to say. These are the little Urban Decay palettes. So there's three, I think, in here. Yeah. So you've got three little palettes. You've got the Urban Decay Naked Foxy, Urban Decay Naked Half Bait, and Urban Decay Naked Sin. So I'll show you what they all look like. So the first one is Naked Sin. They do come in the, it's a lot of packaging here. Look, it was like the outer part, this part here. Then we've got more carton. And then finally, I think we're getting to the palette. So here's what the palette, oh, the palette's really nice. It's plastic packaging. It has a really pretty design on here. And here is, this one is Urban Decay Sin. So this one is Sin. Those colors look really pretty. So I do like Urban Decay. I know this was like one of the first brands that everybody really talked about for a long time on YouTube. And I still like the brand. I have no problems with it. The next one is Urban Decay Naked Half Baked. So here's what Half Baked look like, looks like on the outside. Look, I think, are they the same? No, I mean, they're definitely different. This one's got purple in the background. This one's got like an orange. So they're definitely different. So here is Half Baked. Half, yeah, Half Baked. I'm like, wait, they look a lot alike. There's Half Baked. I think this one's just a tiny bit warmer. And then the next one is, uh, what was this one called? Naked Foxy. All right, let me see if I can open this one up. And Naked Foxy has more of a green background. So we have purple, gold, and green. So here's what this one looks like on the inside. Ooh, I really like that color right here. That's pretty, and that one's really pretty. That one's Get Down. So this has got Foxy, Get Down, Sly, Hot Stuff, Disco, and Funky Town. So that one's got some really interesting ones in it. What were the other shades in the other palettes? So in Sin, it's got Bad Habit, Sin, Unlucky, Unluckily, Boring, TBH, and Twisted. So those are the colors in that one. And then where'd the other palette go? Oh, throw it back in the box. And this one has um, Rollin', Half Baked, Rocky, Buck Off, what does that say? Breadwinner and Edible. So those are the colors in that one. So I like the names. I don't think there's many in there that I've heard of before. So I think maybe they are different, not positive. I'll have to swatch my other palettes to see if there is any kind of difference. Then the next thing I picked up is this right here. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I'm still looking for something to replace my Urban Decay because obviously they do not sell the one that I love anymore. I still have a couple. I'm sure they're probably very old and I probably shouldn't be using them, but I still do. So let's see what this feels like. I haven't tried this out yet. The wand is pretty big. So there's what the wand looks like. Ooh, it's nice actually. I'm going to have to try this out to see if there's any comparison to my beloved Urban Decay because if it is, then that's going to be awesome because then I finally found something that I can use because so far, I can't find my towel. I lost my towel. I usually keep a towel here. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to wipe it on my headband. <laughs> my headband's all dirty now. <laughs> anyway, so that is the first box here, I think, from Sephora. Then I have another small box here from Sephora. This doesn't have much in it. Wait a minute, is there anything in it? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple things. So, does this come from Sephora? I can't remember. This is the C.O. Bigelow Apothecary's Rose Salve. This is a Bomb Day Rose Honest, Genuine, Trustworthy. It's just a all-purpose salve for your hands and for your lips, for anything, basically. You can use it for whatever you need to use salve for. So, if you're someone you like to use a good style for your hands then this might be helpful i am always looking for anything to help me out with my dry dry skin so oh that smells really good it smells like like a baby oh my gosh i really like this oh yeah i'm gonna really enjoy this with my dry hands and it smells really good and this will be easy to keep in my purse i think i got that at sephora I'll be honest, I don't know. It was in the box here, so I'm thinking I did. I know I didn't actually pay for this item. I had gotten the Sephora, one of the favorites kits for the perfumes. And this was the one that I, t I got the kit for. And then for some reason, you weren't allowed to purchase this perfume. This is the YSL Libre. 
um, you couldn't get it for some reason. For the longest time, it kept being out of stock. So it was really weird. So here is the YSL Libre perfume that I redeemed my card for. So this technically I didn't buy, but I did, I guess. Oh yeah, it smells really good. It's got a beautiful scent to it. So this is just gonna go into my purse for having a purse spray. All right, I know I haven't been showing you the samples from Sephora, but that's because I'm planning to do a haul of just all of the samples I've gotten from Sephora over this past little bit. So over there, you can kind of see the samples you can get from Sephora versus Ulta. Because we all know who's got the better samples. All right, the next thing I picked up, actually, no, I did not pick this up. So this was sent to me for free for review from Skeepers as well as Clarins. This is the Clarins Double Serum. This is my favorite serum besides the Fresh Serum. This serum works really well. It works very similar to the Fresh Serum, except for it doesn't smell like roses. You put this on in the morning and you can put it on at night. Put it on as your first step to your skincare because it is a serum, so it's going to sink in very nicely to your skin. I love that it's got a very light floral scent to it. I also love how easily it sinks into my skin so that way there I can apply other things on top of it very easily. I also like the bottle. I don't know why, but something about the bottle is absolutely beautiful. It looks like amber. It looks like honey in a bottle, even though I don't even like honey. It looks like honey in a bottle. So I really, really love this product. So thank you so much to Clarence as well as Skeepers for sending this to me, complimentary for review. And then also from Ulta, Oh, we have an Ulta sample bag here, but I'm not going to share what's in the sample bag yet because, like I said, I'm going to share all the samples I've gotten from Ulta and Sephora in separate videos so you can see the difference between the two. But here is a sample bag that I got for free with my purchase at Ulta. But the thing I purchased from Ulta is this. So I've been wanting to try this out. This is, I, I believe, a newer product. I'm not positive. This is the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Wave Press. I like having a little bit of body to my hair because I think it makes my hair look a little bit thicker, but I still like for it to look healthy. See how it still looks nice and shiny? It doesn't look dried or anything, so I'm kind of hoping this will do what this does, but I want to curl my hair like this. So I'm kind of hoping this will do the same thing and not have to use so much oils in my hair, even though oils are good for it, so let's be honest. All right, so let's see what this tool looks like. Oh my goodness. So it's just basically like an old style crimper, but it's got like one that's like a divot and then one that's like a wave. So that's very interesting. So you just clamp it together and then the same thing on the other side, except for the reverse. So you just clamp this together and it goes up to 430 degrees, which that's kind of like an odd temperature. And you can take it down to as low as 280 degrees. Um, let's see if there's anything on here that says anything about it. Style smarter, not harder. Get the la latest on-trend waves, no beach required. Spray a heat protectant like hot off the press, then just press and then just press in style. Quick and long-lasting ripple waves and bends. Two one-inch enclosed waver barrels that's for safer styling. Infrared heat delivers high shine and eliminates frizz. One hour auto shut off, tangle-free swivel cord, one year warranty, and a five heat settings for all hair types and textures. So it says for long lasting waves, you should hold it. Wait, what does it say? Is a proper prep. Spray hair with a heat protectant like I don't know. So basically say, saying what you should do. So for 280 degrees to 320, that's for fine hair. 320 to 360 is for medium hair. 390 to 430 is for coarse thick hair. So I definitely need to make sure I keep that in mind. Don't go all the way up because I'll probably burn my hair because I mean, I've done that, I've done, I've done that before. So anyway, here's what it looks like. I am excited to try it out. I'm probably, probably going to try out my new styling tool and see how good it does. Hopefully it does good. The only thing I don't like so far is that it doesn't lock. So I know a lot of these tools like this, you have a button that you can push and it locks the two pieces into place. So like if you're going to travel with it, you don't have to travel with it open. It's the only thing I can see so far that I'm not impressed with is that it doesn't lock and it has just an on and off button. So I don't know, it looks pretty simple and it wasn't super expensive. So I'm excited to try it out and see if it's any good or not. You guys, if you've tried this before, let me know. Do you think it's a pretty good waving tool for your hair? Do you find that it dries it out or anything? Let me know. So that is everything for today. I didn't have super things. I mean, super things. I didn't have too much to haul with you guys, but I still want to share all these hauls with you guys because... We got a lot. We still got a lot. Anyway, 
Let me know if you guys have tried any of the products that I have here today. Let me know if you've shopped for any of the sales that are going on, the ones at Ulta, because you should have a 20% coupon for Ulta, so make sure you use that one. And then Sephora had a 20% coupon. I think that one ended yesterday, I believe. So if make sure, hopefully you use that coupon as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.